Squish guy? No. Oh, where are we going? We're going to our friend Cosimo's house for breakfast and we're gonna have crepes and we're gonna, um, she's gonna teach me how to make the frittata. And I've got a whiny boy here. Are you whiny? How about you? Are you whiny? No. Here is Cosimo's house. I know, let's find it. Now, which way do you think it is? A couple of weeks ago, our friend Susie made us a delicious frittata. I asked her if she could teach me how to make one. She invited us over. Her husband, Rennie, is an actor and a musician. And Susie is a producer and a mom. We got right down to making the frittata. Susie went to the farmer's market that morning and she got a beautiful yellow cauliflower and some fingerling potatoes. It looks like it's about at least two to three cups of vegetable. Yeah, you know what? You can't fail on a What's going on, Kaz? And you just have to put in fresh ingredients. So that's, cool. you know, mm -hmm. if you do that, then you're fine. And it doesn't matter. She was getting everything prepped. Her chopped onion, garlic, shredded cheese, eggs, and chopped vegetables. Then she steamed her cauliflower. She sauteed the onions and garlic in about two tablespoons of olive oil and added the fingerling potatoes. She cooked until soft and lightly golden. Then she added the pre-cooked cauliflower. You just saute this down until everything is nice and ready and like kind of, you know, I want to stick everything and get everything customized so it doesn't burn, you know, so it's really sweet. While that was cooking and getting slightly caramelized, it was time to get the eggs ready. Crack open a dozen eggs and whisk them up until well blended. And then add a dash of milk. I have just, you know, okay, salt, perfect. Wow, fancy pepper milk. You know what it is? It's a Turkish coffee grinder and it makes the best. You know, so it's just rock solid. Yeah. You put all your little peppercorns in here and it makes it really nice. When the vegetables look soft and caramelized, turn down the heat and add your eggs. Nice. Then add your cheese and mix it all together. It's almost like a paella, you know, like you don't stir it like a risotto. Mm -hmm. But this, if we tot it, you want to get it all. And how long do you think you put it in for? I want to say 15 minutes, but you'll see it'll like really get puff up. And then once it starts puffing up, you, you do it even longer to set, but then it'll never stay. Right, it sneaks back down again, right? Yeah. While the frittata cooked, we played downstairs. No, no, it's not good. at around 16 minutes and it looked almost done. Make sure it's firm in the center. If it is, it's done. Oh man, would that be more perfect? We all sat down to a delicious brunch. Susie gave me a piece to take home, and the next day I had a lovely lunch with Skylar.